Hey, what's poppin' you guys? This is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. Much love and light to you all. And yeah, lots of love, light, and blessings and all that good stuff. So today, you guys, we're going to be doing another um, What is your karma for hurting you? Reading, okay? This is for anyone who's hurt, hurt you, who's backstabbed you, broken your heart, disrespect to you who's done something to you now if somebody just rolled their eyes at you now come on now bro come on now sis okay but this is someone who's actually done something to you you know broke your heart made you feel some kind of way and we're gonna be seeing what's up you know what i'm saying we're gonna be checking out uh maybe see if we can find out who they were uh what they did and then their karma you know uh, we're gonna be having three groups today all right and we're also gonna get you some advice y'all know how we do it you know the vibes we're not just gonna leave you just hanging you know uh the first group is gonna be represented by this card el bad hombre so this is el bad hombre y'all know when y'all had that was y'all did y'all home die at home and it came out kind of whack el bad hombre um el web design el web design and then the third one is going to be represented by el nail art <laughs> el nail art okay so you guys can see which one of these resonates with you guys el bad hombre no, let me see there's not no hombre el bad hombre <laughs> el web design or el nail art okay so let's go ahead and get into el bad hombre okay All right, if you guys have selected El Bad Hombre, this is gonna be your reading, okay? We're gonna be seeing um, what is your karma for hurting you, okay? So let's see what, we're gonna use this private eye deck right here. This deck is, if you guys like this deck, is for sale too. Link is in the description box. Uh, this karma deck is also on sale as well that we're gonna be using. Link in the description box. I might pull some spirit team messages this is available too. Link in the description box. You know the vibes. So let's go ahead and see what we can pull out for you guys for this one. Pull out game is strong with these cards. You feel me? You feel me? Where the hell did that come from? But yeah, let's see what we got here. Let's see what's up. Let's see what is up. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys. This is interesting here. This is really, really interesting. You, let me see. This is, It says that for some of you guys, this person is a stranger. Or they started off as... Well, everybody starts off as a stranger. But yeah, this person uh, is a stranger. But you may not even know this person that well. You know, whoever this person you're, that you're asking about. For some of you guys, this, not, this part might not apply to everybody, okay? Just take what applies and let the rest fly, okay? There's two other groups. You can select those as well. This is somebody who's unstable mentally, okay? They ain't wrapped too tight, you know? Their, their elevator doesn't go all the way to the top, you know? Their Rolex ticks, you know what I'm saying? Multi-party. This could have been a group of people, okay? So for some of you guys... I'm hearing, and we got a store here too. So this is giving me like online kind of vibes or somebody, or somebody, if you guys work somewhere, uh, work out somewhere, or uh, if you guys work out somewhere, hey, this could be somebody in the gym too. I just said work out. But if you guys are out somewhere where there's a lot of people, I feel like these people may have done something to you, okay? Looks like we got a jokester amongst the, the, uh, the crew too. Somebody could have played a prank on you, a joke on you, had everybody laughing at you. Um, yeah, I see humiliation. This is a lot of people because we got multi-party and we got groups. So it's a lot of people going on here. So so some of the people you don't know, but some of you, some of them you do know, okay? And this is people playing games on you. Somebody may have played with your heart. Somebody may have played with your feelings. Somebody did something on purpose, like took you as a joke or took this whole scenario or whatever it was. If it disapplies, they took it as a joke with you guys, okay? And that's never nice, you know? But, you know, some people, like I said, this person is unstable. You know, they ain't wrapped too tight. So 
of course people who people like that might do moves like that you know but it's like they even got other people involved on it so whatever they did to you they told other people about it you know they had everybody laughing at you for some of you guys I'm hearing they're all gonna laugh at you from that Carrie movie. Why the where the hell did that come from? They're all gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. It might have made you piss. Okay, ooh, why did that movie come up in my mind? For some of you guys, this person may have pretended to like you and came in for something else. They may have an they may have had an ulterior motive and then played with your heart. They pretended that they liked you until they can get what they could get from you or whatever it is that they wanted to get. And then they told everybody, like for some of you guys, you were just a conquest for this person. And this person bragged about it and they laughed about it with their friends. I'm hearing somebody may have had a bet about bagging you, getting you, or getting something from you. Wow. Okay, let's see what we got here. What else we got for this person? What's the karma that we have for them? Ooh, fell on the floor. Let's see what we got here. Let's pull one from the bottom. Let's see what we got. We got on repeat. Oh, damn. So this person, these people, whoever did this, they're not going to learn from this. OK, and I feel that them not learning from this. See, they could have they could have used this whole thing as a learning lesson so they could stop doing it. But I feel like they're going to do it to other people. Whatever they did to you, they're going to continue doing it to other people. OK, because this person is not seeing this person is not seeing the point. They're not seeing their fault in this situation. We got on repeat here. OK. This person is not seeing their fault. They're not seeing what they've done wrong, you know? This person lacks common sense. Like I, I said it before, in unstable. This person don't have no common sense. You know, this person lacks, they're, they're blinded by their own actions and what they don't realize. They don't, they don't realize the ramifications of putting out bad karma and doing bad and harm to people, hurting people. They don't realize the ramifications, but this is going to work to their disadvantage because it, this is causing them to be trapped in karmic cycles. So whatever karma they're going to be receiving is going to keep happening over and over or, or different karma might keep coming to them. Bad karma is going to keep happening, keep happening, keep happening because they're going to keep doing stuff to people. Put Keep putting out that bad energy and this is going to keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. And this person... May not may may lack the common sense to even realize why is all this bad stuff happening to me? Oh, it's happening because of what I'm doing. Y'all can't see me, but I'm shaking my head right now. Parental issues we got here. Okay, we got parental issues. So there's parent and child differences. If this person is a child, who is a child? <laughs> We're all somebody's child. But um, if this person is of age where they live with their parents, their parents is, uh, are attacking them or don't like their lifestyle and what they're doing, you know, is causing them stress, causing them trouble, you know, um, just nagging them all the time, you know, giving them aggravation, you know, they're being aggravated. Or if they are parents that have children, their children are, are the ones that are out doing trouble, getting into trouble, um, leeching off of them, being a burden to them, being uh, de uh, dependent and not trying to pull their weight and causing them stress and causing them trouble, you know? Either way, it's going to be some sort of like uh, family dynamic to where there's issues. There's somebody that it, within their dynamic that causes them uh, more trouble, could cause them to have to spend more money, you know? It could cause them just stress on their body, their lifestyle, you know? This is someone who's up against them you know within their within their uh family structure you know someone who's not working with them you know okay we also got watching okay so we got watching so this person's karma is also they're gonna be there to watch you prosper okay they're gonna be seeing that this was a missed opportunity in some way for them okay 
They're going to, this person is going to be jealous because they're going to see you prospering, see you blooming like a beautiful butterfly. They're going to be seeing you doing the damn thing and they're going to see you being abundant and moving on past this and being the beautiful person that you are and not letting this stop you, you know, from, from your goals, from living your life following your dreams and this person is going to be so shocked because i feel this person felt that they were that they whatever they did to you they felt it was going to tear you down so much that you were going to give up on life okay for some of you guys this person is was that like they didn't take stuff seriously this person takes everything for a joke like they take your feelings your well-being everything is a joke to them you know they didn't take nothing serious so this person is going to be surprised and shocked because the universe karma is going to let them see you prosper. It's going to let them see you be abundant. It's going to let them see you succeed. It's going to let them see your success. And they're going to be pissed off about it. You know, this person also, I don't know why they're doing this, but this person is watching you. Okay. This person is still spying on you in some, in some sort of way. This could be through, I was going to say instant media. What the hell is instant media through, um, Instagram, through, you know, social media, some type of way through asking people about you or they may live around you, anything. You know, this person is stuck. They stuck on you. And I feel that this person is regretting what they've done to you because once they start seeing your glow up, once they start seeing you rise, seeing you prosper, seeing that this is not tearing you down, this is not break you, this only made you stronger. And now they're seeing you just propelling ahead in your life with ease. And it's going to have them be like, damn, wow, she did that. He did that. Damn, I messed up. I should have stayed on their good side in whatever way that that meant to you guys, okay? I should have not done X, Y, Z to this person, not that person. Because that could have been me by their side. But I'm on the outside looking in now. And I see other people with that person and other people take took my spot. Or took a spot that I may have could have been able to occupy. And now I got to watch them with the other people. You know, living that life and being happy and free. Wow. Injuries. Injuries. Accident prone. Since this person is such a jokester, they don't care nothing about nothing. So, yeah, it's going to be, they're going to have, um, they may have some slip up, slip and falls. Clumsiness. They're distracted. They may be distracted when they're out in the streets and it may cause them to, to fall or to do something that's going to maybe injure themselves. OK, it's going to cause medical expenses. This could be why these people on their parental issues are pissed off at this person because it's like, bro, sis, like you need to grow up because that's what I'm hearing. You need to grow up. Somebody telling somebody that they need to grow up. OK, and this this is sudden accidents, you know. Sudden things just happening to them, you know? Sudden. Why am I keep saying sudden? But yeah, let's get you, you got get your side some advice if I can talk, okay? I feel this person is going to be caught off guard and they're going to know what to do, you know? But like I said, this person is so dumb that they don't realize that these things are going to keep happening to them. It's going to keep happening to them, you know? Their middle name is going to be clumsy because stuff is going to keep happening to them. And as long as they keep putting that stuff out there and this person lacks the maturity to even be able to see that, that which is a sad thing, you know. You don't have to change for anyone. That's what your spirit team wants you to know. You don't have to change for anyone. Maybe this person wanted you to change. Maybe this person wanted you to be somebody else. Or maybe you feel that you have to be somebody else to get people to like you or to accept you in some in, in some way or another. But you don't have to you don't have to change. You're perfectly fine the way that you are. You know? You're good. Let's give you another advice here. Oh damn. It says uh, meditate. It says make sure that you are meditating and calming your mind daily. Make sure that you take time out of each day to spend on feeling how it would feel to accomplish your goals and dreams. This is very important at this time. You guys are in manifestation mode. That's what I feel for you guys. Do the work that needs to be done and see your dreams come true. You know, 
we got to make the decision. It's time for this the, the decision to be made, regardless of how difficult it may be. Finally, make the decision and move on with things. You've been contemplating long enough. You guys got to make the decision to do whatever it is that you need to do. You guys already know what you got to do, you know? It says not for you. Everyone is not for you. Sometimes we are attracted to people for various reasons, but not everyone we are attracted to is meant to be in our lives. Make sure that you know the difference. Never force any connection with anyone. Let things happen naturally if they're meant to be, okay? You guys may have been connecting with somebody who was just not good for you, okay? But that's what I got for you guys in this group. If you like it, if it resonated in any kind of way, like the video, it helps the channel. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're not subscribed. And much love and peace to you guys, okay? Ciao. All right, if you guys have picked L Web Design, it's gonna be your reading. We'll be seeing what's your person's karma for hurting you, okay? Let's see. Let's get some details and see what may have taken place, who the person might be. This is a general reading, so it's not gonna uh, resonate with every single person that watches this reading. Keep that in mind, people. You can always select one of the other piles or groups. I'm using the private eye deck, just desserts deck, spirit team messages. They're all available uh, for purchase shipping internationally. Check the link in the description box. Let's see what we got here for you guys. Okay. This person is ashamed of what they did to you. Okay. So I do see this person having some remorse, you know, they, they, they may, they know that they messed up. They know that they, they shouldn't have done what they did done to you. Okay. Polygamous, they, this may be for some of you guys. This might not resonate for every single person, but this is someone who likes to keep multiple people in their lives. They need, they like to keep multiple uh, relationships going with multiple, multiple people at the same time, okay? This person feels like they're entitled, like they're the king or queen, they could do that. This might have been your classmate or someone where some place where you learned something. So this could have been, you could have met this person on the job, could be a coworker, or you met them online somewhere where they make money, okay? Somewhere where you guys both learned something, okay? It could have even been the school of life. Who knows? Stubborn. It's just somebody who's stubborn. Like, they don't change. Even if they don't do bad or they have, like, messed up traits, then they don't change. They don't feel the need to change, and they don't feel that anything is wrong with them, you know? Friends with benefits. This may have been somebody who kept you in a friends with benefits type of uh, scenario or looked at you in that way. Or if you wanted to establish something with this person, this person didn't see you beyond friends with benefits. Like they didn't want to build nothing with you, you know? Maybe they wanted, you know, and this is that polygamous, whole polygamous vibes. You know, this person want to have a lot of people around them, you know? And you were just one of the other people. Spying. This person may be spying on you right now as well. You know, you may not be talking to this person. You guys may be in separation, or in this per but this person is watching you. Either online, I'm getting for some of you guys. This person could also be, you know, spying you, uh, spying on you through people, through tarot readings, some other kind of way. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what their karma is going to be. This is way too many cards right there. Still too many. Let me get a couple more cards, please. Don't do that. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. Well, damn, I didn't know. I didn't know there was two on the floor already. Maybe I should put these two back. Because we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> you got, um, well, I'll see whether or not I wanna look at those. Okay, you guys, we got choking on pride, okay? So, yeah, this person's gonna end up eating their words. That's why they feel ashamed, you know? That's why they feel the shame. They had the wrong idea about you, I feel, for some of you guys. You know? They had the wrong, completely wrong idea. They didn't realize. You got 444 on the time stuff. They didn't realize who you were, you know, to them. I feel that this, you may have meant a lot more. This person may have found out that you meant a lot more to them than they realized initially. And now they're ashamed. They may have messed something up between you guys, okay? They may have put you in this position. When they wanted you as wifey, when they wanted you as hubby, you know, but hey, whatever. But yeah, this person is going to be seen as a pretender. Uh, shame is going to come to this person in some sort of way. Uh, their actions are going to, they're going to do something, okay? And it could have something to do with all these people that they're dealing with, okay? But this person is going to do something and it's going to be a scandal, okay? This person is trying to get clout. They're trying to be the big man on campus, the big, the head B.I., what do you call it? The head bitch in charge or whatever. Uh, but it's gonna backfire on them, okay? That clout that they were trying to get is not gonna it's not gonna fall through. It's gonna be a fail, you know. This person is gonna end up looking foolish by what they're doing. They're gonna come off as that, you know, they don't know what they're talking about, you know, a fraud. This is someone who there's someone who likes who who keeps up with the appearances. They wanna always put out this specific image to the public, to people around them. But people are gonna see them for who they truly are. That mask, whatever that 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 um, that whole persona they've been putting on is gonna is gonna fall down. People are gonna see if, see them for what it is. Okay, we got lack, lack. This is abundance reversals. Okay, yeah. So the things that, and I feel that you are not the only person that this person did something to. Okay, you're not the only person. Okay, there's other people that they did it to. This is spiritual restitution that this person is going to have to pay so that any abundance that was meant to come to this person is going to come to the people who they did dirt to okay this is abundance transference here okay this person is going to feel hopeless and helpless when the things their goals their dreams slip out of their hand when deals that they wanted to make fall through and it People change their mind, you know, when the things that they had planned, the goals, the things that they have. I'm hearing this person may have had things lined up that were a guarantee, but they are going to somehow fall through and it's not going to work. OK, that energy, that abundance energy is going to go to the people who they hurt. OK, and this person is going to send this person. This is a divine going to be a divine cycle for this person. OK, they can't do nothing about it. OK, they can't. I don't care what they do. They could drop to the floor, do all kind of praying and whatever. It's not going to work. You know, this is a divine cycle. And this person needs to experience this, needs to learn this lesson. OK, nobody's going to be able to help this person. So if some of you guys feel like you're going to help them, it's it's not going to work. OK, so don't waste your time. Behind bars. Damn. Damn. Behind bars. Uh, in jail. Serving time, your person might serve time in jail. This person might be, this person might be, damn, this person might be framed for something or they could be caught in the act. Damn, what the hell? Damn, this person might be doing something illegal and get caught in the act. Or it could just be down to this person having warrants or unpaid citations and they get arrested for it. Or this person could be hanging out with people and uh, be guilty by association. Like somebody does something and because they are around the people at that time, they could be guilty by association be, or be framed for something. Damn, this is, this is, damn, this is that scandal that this is, this is talking about, right? This is going to be a scandal and this is something that, that this person is not going to be proud of. Damn. And people are going to be like, you are not who you, I thought this, this is something Whatever this is, this person is doing something that if people knew about it, they would be they would be ashamed. You know, people would look at them differently. People would not look at them the same. And I feel that it's gonna all gonna come out. But it may be something that they're doing that's illegal. You know, they're doing something that that could get them arrested. 
or get them the attention of uh, the law, you know. This could be some domestic, a domestic dispute or this could, they could be dating somebody. Oh, damn, why am I getting this? This person could be dating somebody who's underage. Damn, okay, I'm leaving that alone. Karma's Kitchen. It says being held, uh, we got Karma's Kitchen right here, right? This is being held accountable for all actions. Karma said, bitch, I'm now serving, you know? This person, <laughs> is this person, whatever they did, oh my God, this person is a hot ass mess. Whatever they did, they're attracting Karma's attention right now, okay? Everything that they're doing is being uncovered. Nothing. I feel like this person has been doing some dirt, okay? This person got caught up in the web. This person might have been doing things online also, meeting people online or doing some kind of fraud activities online. Oh, man. This is, this is different, you know? The ingredients of this karma is their actions. The dish is being prepared. They can't do nothing about that. Let me go ahead and do this because, ooh. Oh, damn. Thoughts. This is, damn, group number two. Damn. Endless thinking, rehashing old events. So this person, this person is going to be caught up to where they're like, damn, I shouldn't have done this. Damn, I shouldn't have done that. They're going to be thinking about all the things that they've done to people. And it's going to keep playing back in their mind. Damn, I fucked up. I should not have done this. Why did I do X, Y, Z? Why did I do that? They're going to be longing. This person is going to be longing for some of you guys too, you know? Wishing they could press rewind and go back to that time so they could do things different. This is remorse, you know? Reminiscing constantly over and over, over and over. Like, even when they don't want to think about it, you know, they're going to be thinking about it like, damn, why did I do X, Y, D? Why didn't I go down this path, you know? Why did I take my ass over here? 1111 is on the timestamp, you guys. Timestamp, but time. Why didn't I take this path? Why did I go over here and see what was going on over there and get hooked by these people? And go down this path. And now I'm behind bars. Bad luck. Out of balance. It is what it is, people. Bad luck. Bad luck. Going against nature. That's why. Because your person was going against the flow. They were going against nature. Damn, going against nature. What the hell? So this person was doing some stuff they had no business doing. They had no business... <sighs> business they had no business doing it you know what i'm saying this person this person was out here wilding out they were going against it for going against nature what was natural for them they were doing the opposite so this, this person could have been involved in some extreme things we ain't going into, into all them details because i i'm not here for that but yeah this person is going to be going through some tough times when all this stuff happens they're going to feel like they're giving up this is another divine cycle this person is going to be disconnected from their spiritual self and out of tune. Damn, you guys. Let me get y'all some advice. Let me get up out of here with this one. Let me get up out of here with this one, bro. This is a doozy. A doozy. What the hell is a doozy? Uh, let's see. What advice do we have for this group, please? Ooh, one flew out. One flew out. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Don't let people tell you what to do. Okay. The spirit team wants you to know. However, this resonates with you guys. Don't let people tell you what to do. You make your own mind up. Okay. So if you wanna, if you wanna go put some on this person's books, so they can buy them some Twinkies and some hot Cheetos in jail, then you go and do that. If you wanna go to their court date, then you go and do that. If you want to um, visit them in jail and talk on the phone behind that glass and. You go and do that. I'm just playing. But yeah, you, you're wrong. Do what you want to do. Love. Okay. Love may be on the cards for you guys soon. Okay. If you're already committed, your relationship relationship will deepen. If you if you are single, get ready for a passionate love affair. Yeah. So this person, if, if this was a love thing, this person couldn't give you that love. But love is on the cards for you guys. Okay. If you guys are committed to this person, maybe it's going to deepen for you guys. That's up to you. You do what you want to do, right? Like like this says, don't let people tell you what to do. You got to live your life. You're grown. Do what you want to do, okay? But that's what I got for you guys in this group. If it resonated, you liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And much love and light to you guys, okay? Take care. Ciao.
All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the energy out from group number two. If y'all want some juice, some hot gossip, <laughs> some hot tea, go and watch group number two if you did not select. Just watch it just to listen to it because that was a hot mess, good lord. So you guys, if you picked El Nail Art, this is gonna be your reading, okay? We're gonna be seeing what's your person's karma for hurting you, okay? We're gonna be using the private eye deck right here. We're gonna be using Just Desserts Karma deck, all right? We're gonna be using Spirit Team messages, all right? All these three decks are available for sale if you're interested. Check the link in the description. And we're also going to be using this uh, notebook oracle, okay? So, let's see what we got here for you guys. Let's use a private deck and see what's going on, okay? Wow, a group fell out. Let's go ahead and go with that. We got Jokester. So, this is someone who was playing a joke on you, okay? This person may have been playing with your heart, playing with you, and playing. I'm getting the whole Jokester playing with you in some kind of way, okay? This person had was infatuated with you. They were interested in you. They came off as courteous, okay? And they said they were intentional. Whatever they did to you, it was intentional. They've done, they've done it intentionally. If, if this person sat back and told you, oh, I didn't do it on purpose, da 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 it was intentional, okay? They may have Libra in their chart. You can have Libra in yours. Take, apply it where it goes if it applies. This could be someone that you're currently working with. It could be a coworker, okay? This is someone who kept you waiting in some sort of way about something or whatever it was, okay? This person had the evil eye on you. They didn't want to see you succeed. This person was playing games with you in some sort of way, okay? They were playing with your mind, playing with your heart, whatever it was. But yeah, this person put the evil eye on you guys. And this is someone who would do stuff to you as a silencer. They'll do stuff to you, then don't, they don't want you to speak up about it. And they don't want you to tell people about it. They want you to just stay silent about it, okay? Let's pick a couple more. Let's get a couple more. A grifter. This is someone who's a scam artist, right? This is someone who comes in to try to use you for something. They just want to take something from you, okay? That's what they were there for. Current. This is someone that you're currently who's currently in your um, energetic field in some sort of way. Okay, they could be they could be around you, within your inner circle. You could work with this person, go to school with this person. This person could be a neighbor. You could live with this person. Whatever it is, a whistleblower. This is someone who like spills the beans on things that you do. All right, tries to like, you know, blow the spot up on you or humiliate you in some sort of way. You know. For some of you guys, this is somebody that was from your past job that you worked with in the past, okay? Now, let's see what the karma is for this person. Oh, right at the gate. Right at the gate. Don't be late. Relationship, okay, we got relationship. There we go. Okay, it says love connections falling apart, heightened emotions. So if this person is with somebody else, you know, they're with somebody, I see them having issues with that person, their relationship that they build with that person. This person could have left you guys for somebody else. This person could have came in, played games with your heart, breadcrumbed you or whatever. Yeah, or it may not be that case for you guys, but yeah, this person played with you in some kind of way, but and they may have had something else going on, or you know, entertained something else. But whatever it is, whatever they got going on over there is falling apart, right? They arguing, they're not seeing eye to eye. Somebody within this dynamic, within that connection, is having to change of heart. They don't want to be with it anymore. They're causing somebody, or both of them are causing um, irreparable damage to their situations because people have they're letting the differences show overpower and they're letting their egos inflate you know and causing issues okay we got health issues as well all right this person is going to be stressed out or they're stressed out okay this person is says down for the count stress exactly what i got stressed out okay i see hospital visits uh like mental person having mental stress worries 
going through some sort of sick spell, you know, could be an injury also, and having health expenses, you know, through this. I feel that a lot of things too, like even with this dynamic with their relationship or whatever, it's going to cause them a lot of stress and that stress is going to do, it's going to have a negative effect and toll on their body, okay? Divine protectors, okay, we got divine protectors here. So this card says, damn, like karma came back swift on this person, right? This was divine intervention. Their karma is going to be expedited, okay? It's going to be expedited. Y'all know when y'all order something online and you pay for overnight shipping, you want it to get to you quickly? That's what's going to happen for them. Their karma is going to be expedited. They're going to get overnight shipping, okay? And it's going to be a shock to them once this stuff starts coming. It's going to be swift judgment, intervention. The universe ain't playing with this mother. ST, ooh, damn. STDs. Maybe this is why this person's relationship is breaking down. We got STDs here. Wow. Okay. So, reckless, secular, oh, sexless. <laughs> what the fuck? Reckless sexual behavior. Okay. This could be somebody coming up with a STD within their connection and the other people, their connection with whoever they with. And then somebody accusing the other person. No. You gave it to me. No, you gave it to me. This is humiliation, having scares, health scares. When it comes, this could be why they're going to be in the hospital. You know, this person is probably scared because they got something. They caught something, you know, and they don't know what it is. And this is stress. This is consequences of reckless sexual behavior. It feels good when you're, in, when you're doing it, right? But then when you get up, you don't know what, you, what you're going to have. We're going to have to shake off. Manifesting, issues manifesting goals. There's going to be another one this person may suffer from, okay? So we have manifesting blocks, you know? They're not going to be able to manifest what they want to manifest. They're going to have creative blocks, writer's block, stuck, stagnancy. I feel that this stress is what's going to cause them to come into this type of... Um, uh, mindset for this person, okay? So this person is gonna just be like, if you see this person, this person is gonna look like worn out, you know, like mentally just like gone, like mentally like this person is gonna be look like they've been taken through the ringer, like you know when you look at somebody, you be like, damn, the streets really like you look like you had a hard life, is and it's gonna gonna be looking like that for this person, because this person is gonna be stressed out, you know. Let's get some advice for you guys, okay? What's the advice for this group? You know what I picture? I picture somebody watching this reading, doing their nails, playing with their nails, like, or looking at their nails like, oh man, it's not my problem. I don't know why that came to my mind just now. Let's see, what is, what is the advice for this group, please? Okay, we got one that fell down. We're gonna go with that one. All right. Uh, never let the same person hurt you twice, yo. Never let the, this is number fourteen. Simplify that as number five. So it talks about a change. You need to change this attitude about yourself. Okay. If this person of anybody hurt you once, do not let them hurt you again. Don't let the same person do the same thing to you over and over again. Okay. Then let's get another one from. The Notebook Oracle. Let's get an advice for this group, please. Okay, it says, life is not a competition. Everyone learns and experiences things on their own time, based on their own life path. Don't compare yourself to others and Allow yourself to experience things on your own time if it's meant, okay? Some of you guys may be, I'm hearing like you think time is running out, time is running out, time is running out. You have to do X, Y, Z. You have to achieve this. You have to achieve that by a certain time. But I'm hearing time is on your side. Don't compare yourself to other people. You all are on different timelines. 
what's meant for them may happen to them at a different time than, than what's meant for you to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? If that made sense. But yeah, you're on your own timeline. Don't compare yourself to other people because you guys are two different people, okay? So that's what I got for you guys in this group. If you like it and resonate it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Wish you guys much love and light. Okay, take care. Ciao.